happened, so there's no getting around it. Moving on to the next set, looks like we've got Mia and Nia Niae. I don't know Niae. He looks like he plays Steve, I assume. Oh yeah, he's. I, I think he's a relatively known Steve. Um, not, of course, not on like a Cola's level. So, like, I I don't see Mia like losing this, but like, Ni Niae is a really good player. Yeah, I mean, to make it this far in bracket on winner's side, you assume he was obviously incredibly talented, but it's, he, like, he pulled the short stick in the sense of, you're a Steve fighting against Mia, and Mia, as of late especially, other than that um, one tournament as of recent, Mia uh -huh. has kind of had a Cola's number recently, and I don't think there's a Steve in the world other than a Cola that can beat Mia, so maybe there'll be a massive upset, that'd be cool, but... Yeah, at least like not not in Japan. So, yeah, but like no may, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. Either way, well, we're getting on with the game, and as kind of expected, uh, Mia has a lot of percent. That is definitely going to be the stock at one thirty. Just called out or kind of slipped through the up smash call out that Nia that Nia A. That's hard to say. Nia A. Had put out, but mm -hmm. coming into yeah. the second stock, I mean. It's Game & Watch, so he's light. If he gets hit with a back air at this point, he's probably going to be the stock. <gasps> oh. Or a forward air works, too. Uh, that was weird. I, I thought, like, Mia would just, like, up B no normally, and I don't think... Can... Do you think, like, Steve can punish it with, like, down air or something? I feel like a B is, like, way too strong. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think Niai just surprised Mia. I think he just didn't beat the up B. I think he beat Mia's timing for the up B. And yeah. that's going to be a forward smash. And yep, that is the stock as expected. So yeah, Nia is at a 100% one stock deficit. <laughs> and now it's getting even bigger with the up air strings. He, he doesn't even have diamond yet. So this is pretty rough. Yeah, if you're, if you're on last being put to your last stock and you haven't even been able to get a diamond yet it's looking pretty grim but I, nia can maybe do it i hope he can because this get this tournament has already been filled with upsets and everyone loves upsets except the person who gets upset right <laughs> okay oh, there's the back air that was like it's the jair right jab back air i think oh yeah that that, that was that's steve is discount roy <laughs> maybe roy is discount steve who knows but, yeah, I got him with the Jair. And it is on Mia to get this edge guard. But that was really smart of um, of Nia to come back and then cancel minecart. Then put him, give himself insurance with that block. That was really good play coming in. And he's just keeping his distance. And he is at the point right now. Okay, he's going for the cheese, you can see. Yeah, he kind of has to. I, I understand. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I was, I was surprised that, that hit. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised that I'm surprised that sent Nia flying the way it did, but Mia obviously knew it would, or he knew it would hit regardless, and then it would put Nia Nia in either a very bad position or take the stock as it did. So it's just it comes down to especially with Mia being, of course, the incredible power he is with Game and Watch. He also has a really really good Steve. Oh yeah, that's. That's kind, kind of rough, what, like, <laughs> he knows yeah, the matchup, it, like, completely. Exactly, and that goes into my theory of I don't think anybody is going to be able to beat Mia with Steve unless they just pull out a bunch of tricks that nobody's seen yet. Isn't, isn't his Steve also, like, 20, like 2400 on Smash Mate? Uh, um, I... I Maybe, because, like, there's a lot of people who hit, like, the 2400 mark. Recently, yeah. Insane. I saw, I saw people saying, like, maybe by next year, like, the highest won't be 2500 anymore. It'll be, like, 3000 or something like that, but... I don't know about 3000, maybe, like, 2800. Strong. By, by next year. Yeah. Which, it makes me think. I remember when getting into Elite Smash... Mm -hmm. VIP, it only took like what, like 5 million ESP, or, and now it's like what, 13 or something? Yeah. That's because everybody's gotten so good at this stupid game. Oh, like, uh, the 
GSP doesn't really reset, but like Smash Me um, ratings reset. So I'm like, I'm, like surprised it just keeps on going higher and higher. It's, it's just people keep becoming more and more dominant. I don't remember who was saying it, but they were saying maybe two years ago, being uh -huh. 2000 on Smash Mate meant like, okay, you're one of the top players in the world. But now mm -hmm. being 2000 on Smash Mate, it's like, okay, yeah, you're good. <laughs> like it's not, it doesn't hold the gravity it used to hold. I, I feel like it should still, but like, I, I, I know people don't take it that way as, as much as it used to. Yeah. But um, I think the person, I don't remember who was saying it, and it's bothering me at this point, but he basically said that, obviously, getting 2,000 on Smash Mate is incredibly hard. Mm -hmm. If you're only 2,000 on Smash Mate, you're probably not going to be seated at a tournament, so then you'll come and have massive up, get upset a bunch of people, especially if it's in the U.S. Yeah, I, I like, I, like, no, you're right. Like, even in Japan, I don't think if you're just, like, a normal rate, um, two, rate 2000 and hasn't been to, like, any on offline tournaments or, like, that many, like, you won't, you probably won't be seated. Yeah. And then you'll just play some, and then you'll, they'll, oh, I don't know who this is. Then you check Smash Mate, and that is it. That is the game. Very dominant in favor of Mia. But yeah, you'll randomly check Smash Mate. You'll say, oh, this guy's 2100. I'm going to lose. I think. But yeah, this game is going as exactly as expected. We're just Nia, Nia. He's obviously very good, but it's just you're fighting arguably the best player in the world right now. It's kind of a toss up between Spargo, Akola, and Mia right now, right? And Mia's just so good, and he's so good at this matchup on top of it. So yeah, I'm surprised Speaking he keeps on of... going to like Hall of Bastion though. I think that ha I, I'm not a massive um, encyclopedia of Steve knowledge, but I'm pretty sure Hollow Bastion is really good for the materials you get, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And I'm you, assuming you get more that... Um, was it Iron? Iron yes, yes stuff, right? I'm assuming. Because PS2 is incredibly good for Steve, and I'm assuming that Mia banned that, and then this is the next best bet. Mm -hmm. Cause I assume they're doing a good EB rule set at this tournament. Yeah, but we haven't really changed a rule like a rule set for like quite a while. So yeah. Okay. Falls out the up smash with a down air. We take those. Okay, and the anvil just comes right in. So yeah, uh, I believe this is Nia's first lead for this entire set. Yeah, maybe maybe we can see something. I hope so. But. Mia is just not letting him land. 170. Okay, and he, he up bees down to get back to stage. And once Steve hits the ground, there's like no lag on that move. Yeah. But Mia just comes back and just keeps the pressure on. So it is a very, very basically even gate. And there's Mia putting on a quick 50%. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's going to be on. Because. Oh. That's the song. Oh, okay. So, don't want to be biased, but uh -huh. I don't see Nia, Nia coming back from this. That was, it's just, what I was saying is Nia's doing very well, but he's not matching Mia's pace. Because mm -hmm. Mia is making it where once I get a hit, I'm putting you at 50%. The next time I get an opening, I'm taking your stock. Yeah, like usually like the lead just gets further and further away. Exactly. And uh, Nia yeah, doesn't really have many tools left. Oh, uh, did he bucket that? Just bucketed the explosion. Oh no, there it oh, is. No. Uh, <laughs> Mia, don't flex on him like that. Don't do that. <laughs> that was, and that goes into character knowledge. Of course, every game and watch uses bucket. But rather than chasing Steve to the other side of the stage, he said, "Okay, the TNT is about to explode. I'm gonna make this." my kill confirm and that was just really good character knowledge and just knowing what you can do and when you can do it so yeah that was basically once um mia got that string on the second stock to where he took mia's stock and i think like 85 percent or something like that with the berry to forward smash yeah after that it was, it was just kind of over 
I mean, probably mentally for Nia at that point too, because yeah. they were like, okay, great, I have the lead on Mia. Oh, my lead is completely gone, and I'm down a stock now. It was like very random too. I mean, I, 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 I'm pretty sure like there was like some sort of read, read involved, but for like as like the person who got hit by it, it, it would just seem like a very random down smash. Right. And you, and I mean, I know that that looks like Asimo on the stage. So judging off the bracket, mm -hmm. okay, so we have Asimo versus Kanage. So this is going to be, for those of you watching at home, I have no idea how many of you are watching. But yeah, thank you for watching today on the English stream of Suma Battle 46. And coming in right now, we've got a hot set of Asimo, which everybody knows. Probably...